Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this weekly cleaning routine. I clean these five things every single week. Um, sometimes if I'm just cleaning in general, I'll throw it in there with it. Um, sometimes I'll clean these things, all of them separately, but I do them every single week to kind of keep up on them. Otherwise I feel like they get too bad and too dirty or um, I don't like to scrub things that's my other thing that you'll learn is even when I put dishes in the sink I always rinse them off I hate scrubbing on things so these are my five key things that I do every week just to like maintain and make sure they stay nice and that I don't have to scrub them I am creating and uploading content as fast as I can make it to get it out to you guys I also try to do cleaning videos Sunday and Wednesday, so be on the lookout for those because there's usually a cleaning video every Sunday and every Wednesday and kind of mixed in between is the other fun lifestyle um, videos that I know you guys love. First thing I do most of the time is I go around and I clean the glass on all my doors. As you can see my back door, it has some blinds inside this little window cubby, but on the other side I have to clean the glass manually and clean all inside the nooks and crannies. So I get in deep in all that because this part faces to the outside and it really gets dirty. You wouldn't think so, but I feel like... I clean it every single week and every single week it's dirty so and then I always go on to clean my storm doors and we had a terrible terrible storm last night I thought Thor was coming through the sky it was so bad but I um, clean those usually about every week and I try to like clean the outside of the frames as well when I do it but I've been using this great glass cleaner and it's very easy to use. It's a vinegar base. You get it from the Dollar Tree. It leaves no streaks and it works um, inside, outside and everything in between. So this is my front door and you can see I'm doing the same thing. You can see all the leaves outside from that terrible storm we had. But I'll get to that later. But yeah, um, on this I really try to get into those grooves because it's really pretty how it has these grooves on the storm door, but it collects just dirt like crazy because of the wind. So, um, and kids are coming in and out, so there's always fingerprints, and that's why I clean it at least once a week, if not more. The next thing I do is I always wash all my bath mats and these ones I got from Amazon, they collect a lot of debris. You wouldn't think so and I wish I would have done a close up shot because there's always a lot of debris on the floor but I wash them every week um, and I usually hang them to dry and I just go in with um, this little multi-use vacuum that I've been loving and I'll link some other cleaning videos where I've been using this but oh it's my new favorite and I clean up all that little um, just dust and debris and things like that because this is the bathroom that my son uses the most. This one is such an obvious choice because um, I would assume that you would always vacuum and mop your dining room but um, this summer my husband's been traveling a lot so me and my son haven't really been using the dining room a lot and I put it on my weekly routine this summer and it's been working out really, really good. So if you have a room that say you're just not getting a lot of traffic in, I put it on my weekly routine to go in and clean it because otherwise it just seems to be that weeks will go by and I'll think that I have gone in there and cleaned and then I'll walk through and there'll be so much dust on the ground. So I wanna make sure that you know, I'm cleaning and maintaining this really well so that I don't have to do a lot of work later on. And I love steam mopping, as you can tell. at least 
once a week and I usually do this when I'm cleaning the rest of the kitchen but sometimes I don't get to everything or the dishwasher's going or things like that we're using the oven um, I hadn't done my refrigerator yet this week so that's why I'm cleaning it now but usually I go around and clean all the stainless at least once a week and sometimes if I don't get it in on my regular cleaning my kitchen time then I'll go through um, when I'm doing just my weekly stuff and I'll clean it as well and I put this in as kind of like a 4.5 because I wipe down inside my refrigerator all the white and um, some of the glass um, mostly like I just kind of go in there and make sure nothing is spilled everything is okay because what will happen is I usually clean out the refrigerator and the glass every time I go grocery shopping which is about every two weeks but you know in the meantime if something has happened and I haven't been able to get to it like I told you guys, I hate scrubbing on things. So I go in um, about once a week and I just make sure that, you know, nothing's spilled, that everything's okay. And I wipe down those white parts a lot because if somebody's coming to my house and they go in and get water or something like that out of my refrigerator, I want the white to stick out and to be kind of shiny clean. So I do always wipe the white part down once a week and just make sure there's nothing stuck on or anything like that. The final thing I do once a week is I use that same glass cleaner because it's actually a glass and surface cleaner when I read the bottle, but it's a vinegar based. So I clean my cabinets with it because it's a vinegar based and I feel like it's not going to ruin the paint or anything like that, but I use it in case um, there's fingerprints or anything like that. And on the lower cabinets, um, sometimes I'll see things that have spilled or dribble down or anything like that and so about once a week I go through and I wipe all that down get it all fresh and cleaned back up um, you'll see my top cabinets I can't reach the top and so about once a month I get on a ladder and I clean the whole cabinet but most of the time I'm cleaning exactly what I can reach because let's face it moms like you're the one in and out of the cabinets for the majority of the time so whatever you can reach is really where all the fingerprints are going to be unless it's like your pantry or something um, where the snacks are but other than that um, I just get where we are grabbing the most and I kind of make sure that nothing has drizzled down on those cabinets So that was it for this weekly cleaning routine. I hope uh, this gave you guys some ideas to put some weekly stuff on your list and really add it in while you're already cleaning and then it's already done. And that's what I do the majority of the time. But really these things take maybe a total of 10 minutes every week and it really helps um, so you don't end up scrubbing and spending a lot of time in one area of your house. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not, and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.